Whoa, this is different. I don't usually upload on Monday. Tippy to top of the morning to you laddies. This is me Waddles. And this morning, I was working on the next Minecraft Guide episode when all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, something a little bit more urgent popped up. Let's take a look. Well, 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 unexpectedly, what is this? A random Minecraft snapshot has appeared on Snapshot Day, except it's a Monday. I guess I was all wrong a couple of weeks ago when I said that we were probably done with snapshots for the year because, oh, baby, I guess we're not. Dab a like in honor of it, and let's go. So as you may recall, just last week, a brand new mob made it over to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's beautiful. The mob, oh, of course, is known as the Armadillo. And oh, the Armadillo has made it over to Minecraft to Java. That's a big focus of this snapshot. Look at this little guy. It's adorable. It's perfection. And even better, now that the Armadillo's over here, we can test it way more technically. Armadillo, big test number one. Lava versus Armadillo. What happens in the world? I'm sorry, poor friend. <laughs> oh, it burns. Okay, test number two. Armadillo versus fire. No, okay. Well, it also burns. How about test number three? Armadillo. No, stay there. Armadillo versus explosives. What in the world? Do you think you're good at that? Uh, take a guess, take a guess. It explodes. Okay, interest. Oh, and it drops copper too. Hmm, perplexing. So the Armadillo, Minecraft's latest mob boat winner, is of course going to extend your way. No, 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 it doesn't extend reach. It makes your boat fast. Oh, no, 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 no. It actually gives you fursuit. <laughs> All right, statistically speaking, the poor Armadillo has a total of 12 health. That's going to be six hearts total, which means with a netherite sword, critical hit. Unfortunately, that is the end of its story. The armadillo doesn't have very much health at all, so be careful. Now, technically speaking, this mob is classed as a passive mob, which is so weird because up until this point, <laughs> adorable feet, it's a timid mob. If I go ahead and run near this mob, it jumps into its little shell and then begins a continuous search. It's looking around for other things that might scare it. It's gonna continually search for things that might scare it until it sees three seconds. <laughs> all right, well, it seems to not search very far, huh? It will continually search for things that might scare it until eventually it sees three seconds clear. Then it'll pop right back out of its boxy shell and go back to walking around. I love on Minecraft to Java when you hit it, it's completely different than Bedrock. Like the little feet scurry around. It's like running and like freaking out. It's pretty adorable. While it's freaking out, it's not going to go into box mode. And if you hit it while it's in its shell, it's going to immediately start freaking out. And yeah, like I said, it's not going to go back into the box. One thing that we're able to do on Minecraft Java that you can't on Bedrock is spectate life and essentially like roleplay as an armadillo. So if I was an armadillo, this is what I would be looking at right now. A whole lot of grass and, <laughs> well, I, I guess life is pretty slow for this guy. Not too much is going on. I was too excited, I'll admit it. Let's go ahead and rewind things. A Minecraft Java Snapshot 23W51A. Probably, maybe, definitely the last snapshot of the year, I guess. At this point, you never know. This armadillo full snapshot is the first Minecraft 1.20.5 snapshot. Because of what we have going on in the hardcore series, I was very nervous about this, but on Java, slide into experiments, and there's no separate armadillo one. It's all in Minecraft 1.21. Ayo, hey, hold up. Wait a second. I This is breaking. I'm cutting in here to show you this. I'm going to go ahead and make a world with no experiments. New world test in the snapshot. Over here inside of the snapshot with no experiments, if I go ahead and look up armadillo. Oh, 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 I was wrong. The armadillo, unless this is an error, I don't know if it is or not, but an armadillo, it might come in 1.20.5. Oh, 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 that's so exciting. Finally, things added to the game, not inside of like once a year. Oh, oh. Oh, that's so cool. No, I don't want to get you too excited because I'm not sure. They haven't really necessarily said if it's 1.21 or 1.20.5, but oh, please make it 1.20.5. I missed the days of like small updates adding actually cool, exciting things. That's so fun. Wow. Inside of this world right here, I got a random spawn that wasn't anywhere near a savanna. So what I decided to do is locate the nearest savanna and this is what I got. The most pathetic savanna known to mankind. We set ourselves very, very far away and then go ahead and locate a new savanna. What we're trying to test here is just how rare or not rare the armadillo might be. Over at this brand new savanna, never seen it before, the search, the hunt begins. And immediately, tragically, my poor friend is stuck here forever. <laughs> Anyways, turning around immediately in the armadillo, alas, yes. But can we replicate it? Can we find a second gallop of armadillo and <laughs> before too long? Sure enough, the answer is yes. 
Now going ahead and taking things up a little bit, let's move into the Savannah Plateau biome and see if maybe we could, uh-huh, they're on the Savannah Plateau as well. That leaves but one final Savannah variant, at least off the top of my head, and that's gonna be the eroded, crazy Savannah variant, that thing over there. So this one might be a little bit harder to scope out here because it is a little bit smaller, but right off the bat, aha, uh -huh, right off the bat, I'm seeing Armadillo. Ah, yes, feeding and breeding. IRL, it's quite beautiful. The armadillo is typically a disease-ridden animal that likes to feast on small bugs, insects. Inside of Minecraft, it is fed and bred with a spider eye. Now this next part is the part that I'm super curious about. It felt like a little weird and buggy on Minecraft Bedrock, but with the armadillo, from time to time, kind of like a chicken, it'll walk around and drop its scoot on the ground. Statistically, inherently, naturally, this armadillo should drop a scoot every five to 10 minutes. So it's not very fast. Alternatively, you go ahead and speed it up with the brush. Walk up to this thing with a 1.20 brush and brush it, and the scoot drops, and the brush's durability is used up. Oh, it's just like Bedrock. Oh, it's worse than Bedrock. On Bedrock, you can get five. On here, you can only get four. Back over at Base Sweet Base, it's time to slide into the Red Zone Laboratory. We're gonna build us a tiny little farm really quick here. For this farm, we're gonna go ahead and place a hopper, and then we're gonna put some glass around it. At the back of the farm, we're gonna put a dispenser facing forward, just like this, a little bit more glass up on top of it. We leave this open so we can get to the chest. On the dispenser, we put a little bit of power. In the dispenser, well, in the dispenser, we're gonna go ahead and queue up a brush. Finally, we would get an armadillo inside of this thing, like right in front of the dispenser. And then we go ahead and power this thing, and look at what happens. The dispenser, the brush is used up. The armadillo is brushed, and the scoot goes right into the chest. You can do this whole process fully automatically. Now let's take a break from the armadillo for a second to take a look at a brand new command. Uh, the HUD command. The really cool new command that was bugged on Bedrock. It did not make it to the snapshot. It's so sad. However, only inside of this Minecraft Java snapshot, not on Bedrock quite yet, the breeze has received a little bit of an upgrade. If we have a breeze here, listen. I don't know if you can tell, it's very faint, but there's a brand new world idle sound. It sounds more windy than before. Listen again. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. So it's like a little bit more immersive or whatever. Now when the breeze is gonna attack, it's got a brand new charge up attack sound too. Listen. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It almost sounds like it's like blowing in, sucking in or something. Projectile deflection. Let's see if we can go ahead and get you to Yep, there we go. When it shoots this projectile out here, we're gonna get a new sound too, listen. I don't know about you, but the sound sounds just like every other projectile block sound, so. I don't know, but allegedly it, it's new. So long story short here, the breezy boy, Minecraft 1.21's finest, um, unfortunately, well look here, I guess I should say fortunately, it sounds a whole lot better, like I love the new sounds, really good, but when it comes to like the health, the drops, all of that kind of stuff, a weirdly mob that is really complex and kind of finish feeling, but at the same time has zero drop whatsoever, it's kind of sad. Next up, it's time for a trial. Here we have a random trial spawner that I literally pulled out of the creative inventory a second ago. I go ahead and use a pig on it, and that's gonna be a pig trial. Over in survival, as soon as I approach it, the trial begins. Quickly and efficiently, I need to mow down these pigs. Then watch what happens. The trial is now finished, and it actually drops loot now. Instead of just having no loot tied to them, by default, a trial spawner with like any other random mob added in here is going to pull from the default loot table. That means, as soon as I finish this chicken trial right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of loot. Just a plain old default loot, it's been unchanged. But loot is loot. Next up, let's go ahead and move back over to the scoot and take a little bit of a closer look here. Inside of the creative inventory, if I look up scoot, I will now find that this scoot is now called turtle scoot. That's genius, brilliant. And then this one is called armadillo scoot. Entirely separate items, they can't be like cross mixed or nothing like that. In the crafting table, the recipe is going to look something like that right there. Then I get an arrow that is clearly pointing back over here. I can't unsee it. I talked about it at first. Look, it's a hand pointing over there. This is such a cool item. I like how it looks. It's a hand with one finger pointing. I will never unsee it. I, I love it. The wolf right here. If I go ahead and put the, the armor on dear bones, so the armor is then geared up. The armor aesthetically, as far as I can tell, is exactly the same as it was over on Bedrock last week. Same goes for the armadillo with its eye on like the front of its head and not the side of its head or nothing like that. Now this wolf armor right here, the fursuit, is meant to be as good as diamond horse armor. But I still do think it maybe has some flaws because 
If your dog is close enough, I mean, actually, that's not bad. Maybe there's some parody stuff going on here because the wolf on Minecraft Bedrock when right next to a creeper was like taken out sometimes. You survived, barely, but definitely survived. So if we go ahead and just heal you up real quick there, back to full health and sit you down. Check this out, right next to this explosive and I don't think its fate is going to be as good. Unfortunately, poor Bonzo is ripped again. <laughs> this is the second time. You might not know, but dispensers have this pretty cool functionality where if you walk up to it and you have armor in it and you stand in front of it, you can actually equip the armor using the dispenser. The dog armor inside of a dispenser, unfortunately, it does not equip to your dog. And that's because only the owner of a dog can equip armor on that dog. If this dog was my friend Army's dog over here and I walked up to it with the armor, nothing would happen. If you want the wolf armor back from your dog, option A, take the dog out. Option B, a little bit more civil, humane, use a pair of shears on your dog. The durability will be consumed by one on your pair of shears and the armor will drop off. The armor has essentially no durability or like infinite durability. It's never going to take damage or break or nothing like that. You need to make one and then you're done forever. Now aesthetically for both of these things, the wolf armor and also the armadillo, there's a little bit of a debate currently ongoing in the community. Is the armor good looking or is it weird? And the armadillo, where should the eye go? The devs over on Twitter have been talking a little bit about feedback. According to none other than the art man himself, after a little bit of play testing with the armadillo, it seemed weird and empty with no eyes on the forehead, so they, they put it on the side. Apparently, there are also some very despicable souls in the community that dislike the armadillo head popping out of the ball. Come on, let some people have some fun. Gosh. On the other hand, though, when it comes to the armadillo's aesthetics and where the eye should be, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I do almost feel like the eye on the side of the head might look a little bit better. Or maybe even an eye that wraps around the side of the head. So you got the dark pixel there and maybe carried over to the side as well. That might maybe look a little bit better. What's your take on the great armadillo debate? Is it good how it looks now, or should the eye be moved to the side of the head? Let me know down below. Next up, inside of this snapshot, we have a whopping 55 bugs in fix. Yeah, 55 bugs, not added, but fixed inside of the snapshot. That is insane. That is so many different bugs, including quite a few bugs fixing boss bar text and other rendering things. That is so weird. This throws me back to a topic that we've talked about time and time again over here on this channel that on the Minecraft channel about a year ago, the devs hinted at a new boss coming to the game and then voila, they're fixing a ton of boss things. They pair all of that with the brand new structure and the update that seems almost perfect for a brand new boss to be added to the game and I don't know, I think next year is going to be very interesting for Minecraft to say the least. Another fascinating thing kind of added in this snapshot, more so fixed, is the respawn anchor. It has an ambient sound now, listen. This is a sound that has been in the game for like ever, like since it was added, but it never really played and just listen to this thing. Okay, well it went silent, it went really quiet, but it sounded cool for a sec- Oh, there we go, it's back. It sounds so cool, it's like a portal. I would love to sit here and go through every single bug with you, but I just don't have the time and it's probably not very interesting. All in all, there's a whole lot of bugs fixed inside of this snapshot and Minecraft 1.20.5 is underway. Wow. So snapshot 23W51A, that's all I want to talk about here today. I am pretty confident to declare this is the very final snapshot of 2023. Warmly, I'd like to thank you all for joining me on this adventure this year. It's been so fun. Snapshot playlist on the, the end slide if you want to go ahead and like douse yourself in the nostalgia. From Minecraft 1.20 to 1.21, I think next year is going to be even bigger. Very exciting. I think it is now time with our friendly armadillo frozen in time over here. We can go ahead and light off the signatory celebratory firework charge. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what I made. Uh, I think I made it wrong. Cue the rockets up inside of the dispenser and it's time for a celebration. In honor of all the snapshots this year and you joining me with them, thank you so much. Until next time, it's been me, Waddles. Like and subscribe. Happy holidays. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.